Assalamu alaikum. Hi. Uh, I am uh, Mustafa Husseini, university professor, uh, and I will be your uh, tour guide uh, through the world uh, of Pandas. Pandas uh, is open source Python uh, library for data analysis. It can be used for uh, data manipulation. Also, it can be used for data visualization. Uh, Bandas package uh, is designed on top of two uh, well-known packages. Uh, the first one is uh, NumPy. It is for uh, numbers or represent numbers or numeric calculation in Python, NumPy. And the second one is uh, for data visualization. Uh, it is the uh, Matplotlib. Uh, if you want to uh, make some uh, analysis or predictive uh, analytics, uh, data visualization, data manipulation, easy to use, uh, easy to use coding, uh, fields for uh, tabular data, uh, SQL relational database, and the Excel spreadsheet, uh, I recommend Pandas for you. Uh, Pandas uh, has uh, two data structure. The first one is series to represent one-dimensional data, and the second one uh, for tabular data or multi-dimensional array called data frame. We will start by talking about the uh, series. Let's dive in. I will show you here a table. If you have one-dimensional data like this, okay, 12 minus 4, 7, 9. This is uh, one dimensional data, maybe one row, maybe a column, maybe a uh, vector. Okay. This is your data. It is the main array. Uh, internal structure of series has two array. One associated, uh, the two array associated with, uh, with each other. The main array, this is the main array, uh, its purpose is to hold your data. Maybe uh, it is data of uh, NumPy, okay? And each one here of your data has a label, okay? Uh, all these labels are stored in another array called index. So series has two array, one for value, this is your data, and the second one is automatically generated, otherwise you can write it by your hand, starting from zero, okay, to the last one. This item is called label, 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 all these labels are stored in the second array. Let's back to coding. First, you will need to import packages, the most important packages, pandas, numpy, matplotlib, and this is the Elias name. And I will start now with uh, something uh, simple. Uh, maybe uh, you consider it like Hello World uh, for representing data or visualizing data by histogram. I will first set the seed for random number, then generate 100 uh, random number, okay, using numpy. These values can be uh, converted to series data structure by calling the method series, okay. You will have now one object called s. If you now want to plot uh, the histogram of this randomly generated data, we will call the method plot with hest, and this is the title. This is your data represented. If you want to check the type of object S, it is series, and if you want to print out S, 
you have now the two column. This is 100 generated, uh, randomly generated number, okay? And this is the automatically generated label starting from 0 to 99. As I told you before, if you don't specify in index, it will be automatically generated or it will be numerical values starting from zero. In series, you will have two item to play with. The first one is values to print out your data. This is 100 number. And if you want to get the label of each one, you will use the attribute index. As I told you before, it is randomly generated starting from zero. If you want, or you, if you want to index through this object, you want to get the value at location zero. This is the first one. Okay. If you want some information about, uh, about your data, Descriptive statistics like mean, standard deviation, first quartile, second quartile, you will call the describe method. Okay. As you see now, this is the count, 100 element, and the mean value, standard deviation, minimum value, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, maximum. Also, you can define your series directly, but here you will you will uh, you will not uh, define indices, so it will automatically generate it starting from zero. This is object. This is S object. This is a type of S. This is a S object. As I told you before, you will play with values or indices. If you want to overwrite the indices after creating the series, you will pass this values. This is the label for the first one, label for second one, label for third, and etc. This is S now. You will have your, this is your data, one dimensional data, and this is the labels collected in index. Now, you can refer to the first element by its label, s.a for s.f, or you can use this form, s of g, okay, it will be equal to 14, s of 2, this is the last element, as you know, from dictionary, from list. You can also define directly. This is the one-dimensional data. This is your data. And this is your indices. This is your label. Okay? Mustafa, label 439, Amira 455, Ziad 464, Mahmoud 480, and the Hannah 496. Okay? This is S2. If you want to get the value at label Mahmoud, it will get you back with 80. If you want to play with values, your data, this array, starting from 79 to 96 as the final element. The index here, as you see, Mustafa, Amira, Ziad, Mahmoud. If you want to get the value at location 2, use attribute i locator of 2, 0, 1, 2, I mean here is the add, and the value will be fixed for. If you want to overwrite, you can write 40 in instead of 64 in the same place, and you will see this change here. As before, you can define your series starting from numboy, okay? This is the value, 
okay according to array method this is the value your data and you will use b as the index label low label moderate label high label too high and use array a and array b as the value and give b as index this data s3 okay the statement does not execute yet to print out s3 as you see this is the labels all in index and this is the value or in your data um, also note that when you uh, create a structure uh, uh, sorry when you create a series uh, from numpy array uh, the data will be passed by reference uh, I mean that uh, two name with uh, only one storing location so here you have s2 okay this is s2 and you will use s2 as values to create series and this series now is s10 when you change this is s10 the same value like s2 with automatically generated numerical labels if you change s2 the main component of s10 s10 also will be changed okay if you change s2 at location 2 110 it also this change will be reflected also in s10 okay if you want to uh, make filtration of your data uh, thanks to uh, the choice of numpy okay and the relation between numpy matplotlib and pandas you can use a uh, mini operation from numpy if this is s10 if you want to check uh, what is the numbers in s10 that is greater than 9 you can write directly s10 greater than 9 uh, 3 uh, is not large than 9 so it will be false false true this one is greater than 9 and etc if you want to get the values from s10 that is greater than 9 you write it directly like this okay and now x is another series when you type x x is another series as you see you can also make mini operation and the mathematical function on series this is your series again yes you can divide each element in series by 2 and this is out you can also get uh, the function log uh, take care this log is method from numpy okay so from the relation between numpy and uh, pandas you can uh, ch change uh, or get uh, operation or mathematical operation from numpy uh, on series and data frame okay uh, when you take uh, the log Take care, uh, this is uh, minus 2, and it is not a number, not a number, okay? Not a number here, uh, uh, Python used not a number to represent missing data or undefined uh, number, not a number, okay? Again, this is another series, S11. You can use the method unique, okay? From the object S11, unique. Uh, okay it will uh, return back to you with element that does not repeat this is only three not two only three uh, from each occurrence of three you will have only one from each occurrence or repetition of 12 you will get one okay 
and this is matches the name unique. Minus four, zero, four, nine, and three is repeated. Okay. If you want to get the occurrence, how many times each element is repeated? This is the numbers. Okay, this is the numbers in your data, and this is the occurrence of frequency. Item three repeated three times. Item 12 repeated two times, and etc. If you want to search for a specific number n series, you will use the method is n. Okay. As I told you before, not a number is used uh, in pandas to represent an empty field or missing field or not definable numerically. Uh, Bandas allow you to define and add this value in data structure, such as series. This is S3. If you want to uh, overwrite uh, the value with label high, and you write here not a number, put it like NB dot not a number. If you want to print out S3 now, this statement is reflected here. Okay, not a number. Um, after that, in the subsequent uh, lecture, we will uh, dealing with not a number when we are loading uh, data file or data sets from files, uh, and we will uh, manipulate not a number. Uh, we can uh, overwrite this value by any value you want. If you want to check back if there is not a number, you can say uh, s3 dot is null. This is not null, okay? But here, this is null, so it is true. Also, you can generate series from dictionary. You uh, can return back to uh, Python uh, playlist on my channel on YouTube, and you will get the lecture dictionary. Uh, as you know, this is uh, there is the key. And this is the value, another key, and this is the value. So when you convert from dictionary to uh, series, this value may be considered as label, this one is label, and all these labels are merged in the index array. And this is the value, this is your data, okay? Here dictionary is created, then you will call the method series to convert from dictionary to series you can print s as i told you this is label red with value 112 this is blue label yellow label orange label also you can change the dictionary again okay and change index here we write black Red, blue, magenta. This is black. Okay. When you print S, black, here no black. So the value is not a number. Red. Here red is 112. 112. Blue, 231. 231. Magenta. No one here is called magenta. So magenta is not a number. Also, there is methods on index. You can play with index. This is S. And you can print out S10. If you want to uh, get the ID or label with minimum number in your data, okay, minimum number. Here is minimum one. So label is zero. Use the method ID X minimum. It will be zero. ID X max, it will be 2. Before I close the session, I want you uh, that everything is going just well with you. Uh, here we uh, talk about pandas and the series data structure, how to uh, create series, how to uh, play with series. Uh, finally, feel free, uh, if you like the content, 
uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. And excuse me, this is the first time to uh, speak in English. Thank you.